our group was given the topic about Pablo Picasso. The full name is Pablo Ruiz Picasso, who was born in Malaga, Kingdom of Spain, in 1881, 25th of October. He is painter, printmaker, sculptor, ceramicist, and a city designer who spent his most adult life in Paris. He is known as a co-founder of Cubist movement, which helped to construct sculpture. Also as a co-inventor of college, which helped to develop and explore the skills of painting. His most famous work is Guernica, uh, which uh, illustrated anti-war action in uh, Spanish Civil War uh, in 1937 year. Pablo Picasso had his first exhibit at age 13 and later he quit his art school so he could experience with full-time art workers. He went to Paris for the first time in 1900 and in 1901 he had his first exhibition at Paris in the street Rue Lafitte which was really famous uh, for its prestigious art galleries. So what is Picasso's style called? It's Cubism. Cubism was one of the most influential art styles in early 20th century which was created by Picasso and his friend George Braque in Paris between 1907 and 1914. Picasso was one of the most famous artists in 20th century. He is known for co-founding Cubism style, the invention of structured sculpture, the co-invention of collage, and for variety of art styles which he created uh, or helped to create. What are the five theories of Picasso's work? Throughout his long and celebrated career, Picasso went through several phases of artistic style. First one is the blue period from 1901 till 1904. The second phase is the rose period from 1904 till 1906. Next phase is primitivism, which was lasted for two years from 1907 till 1909. Next comes Cubism style, which took place from 1909 till 1919. It, it lasted for a decade. And neoclassicism and surrealism also lasted for a decade from 1919 till 1929. This image of a young woman in her mirror reflection is raya toes in color and chakra block with pattern. It's one of the last in a major series of canvases that Picasso created between 1931 and 1932. According to the Museum of Modern Arts founding director Alfred Barr Jr., Picasso said he preferred this painting to any of the others which speaks to the painting's dazzling visual and thematic complexity. Its primary subject is a time-honored artic artistic theme of a woman before her mirror, reinvented in strikingly modern terms. The girl's smoothly painted profile in a, in a delicately blushing pink lavender abuts a heavily built-up and garishly colored frontal view in yellow and red. Allusions to youth and old age, sun and moon, light and shadow are compressed into a single multivalent face. Weeping Woman is based on an image of a woman holding her dead child. It's taken from Picasso's anti-war mural, Guernica. Picasso painted both her works during Spanish Civil War. It was in response to the bombing of the Basque town of Guernica. The attack was carried out on April 1937 by Nazi Germany's Air Force in support of Spain's nationalist forces. Hundreds of people were killed. The figure of the weeping woman is based on artist and photographer Dora Maar. Maar photographed Picasso's making of Guernica. For all the countless works of art created over hundreds of years, only a select few have the power of thoroughly mesmerize, confound, and psychologically challenge the observer. 
Even fewer have the ability to temporarily divorce everyone from their firmly held artistic preferences and transcend personal biases. They stand on their own merits as independent artistic entities. Picasso's 1903 Blue Period masterpiece La Vie is one such rarity. Pablo Picasso never intended for the world to have a clear understanding of the painting La Vie, now one of the treasured possessions of the Cleveland Museum of Art. Le Rêve, the Dream in French, is a 1932 oil painting by Pablo Picasso, then 50 years old, portraying his 24-year-old mistress Maria Therese Walter. It is said to have been painted in one afternoon on January 24, 1932. It belongs to Picasso's period of distorted depictions with its oversimplified outlines and contrasted colors resembling early Fauvism. Okay, right now I'm going to talk about Picasso's contribution to the society. The first main contribution which he did will obviously be the creation of college and cubism because this person always wanted to search for something new and as a consequence tried to combine different types of techniques in one painting. These techniques he created by himself and as a consequence the cubism came out. Furthermore, it's also interesting to note that this person contributed hugely to the curalism and symbolism and additionally he created the new types of techniques which are called liner cuts, dry points and liner cuts, wood cuts. If we talk about his influence to the world, uh, he had a huge impact on the society because this person always wanted to find the difference between the world and painting and convey this information by painting pictures and trying to understand them differently yeah in conclusion i just want to say that painting is important actually his paintings are important because looking at his paintings we will understand the world differently and see the surround surrounding not only the surrounding but also the world from the other perspective and explore our feelings